Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. It's kind of ironic. I just made a couple videos about the blend tool, then somebody emailed me, and they're having trouble trying to make a blend go to a path. So we're going to grab these and we're going to blend them. But then the path they told me about was a. Uh, this is why. This is how I draw too. Um, make that line with the three-point curve, hit the uh, plus key on your keyboard, mirror it the other way, and then grab like that node and go up here. You have to go to object and combine them so it'll be one path. But they can't get the blend to go along that path. It Well, maybe I did not. Let's try this. Let's take away this. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Maybe I maybe I need to go to Windows, Dockers, Join Curves, grab those and hit Apply. There we go. I just either didn't combine them or something. So anyway, here is our. Well, you know what? Maybe that was the problem. Let's open the blend docker back up and go to new path and put along the path. Well, that's not the problem they're having. Let me try this again. Let's uh, draw a two point line. Hit the plus key on the keyboard and, and then blend them and then go new path. I don't know why it's doing that. Blend along full path. Well, now it's actually working. Um, but they want a line at the bottom. So you could just do this, and they this is what they want. I've already emailed them a picture of it, and that's what they want. So let's just do this. This is how I would do this. I would, you know, make these lines have whatever size you want. And, you know, put your, we're going to have to make them quite a bit longer. Let me move this out of the way to make this curve work. And then just take your curved line where it's all in here and just take your virtual segment delete key. And if you hold down the alt button, you can kind of draw in a curve and get them, whoop, get them a lot faster. You know what I didn't do? I didn't break the blend apart. Go up to object, break the parts, them apart. And see what happens when you hold down the alt key, you can kind of draw. Then, but they want them the same length. Let's also take this out. And this is still a line. So, Hit, up, hit the plus key on your keyboard, start moving it up, then hold down the control button, get to wherever you can. Let me uh, zoom in here a little bit. Get the uh, virtual segment delete key again, hold down the alt key, and you don't have to do it, but it makes it a little bit faster. And because uh, if, you, if you take your time, because you can, when you're using the virtual segment delete key by itself, you can only use a flat surface. But if you use an alt key, you can draw around that rectangle, or that's, and then just delete that line, and you have that lines on a curve. And ever how many you needed, make them thicker, thinner. Well, you can't make them any thinner. Make them black. So in Instead of trying to blend to a path, uh, you can do it this way. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.